Hello, my name is Amanda Gerhardt, and today I've prepared a yoga sequence to help return us to a calm state. So all you need is your yoga mat and also um, a pillow from home. We will be working with a pillow just for a couple of the restorative poses, and this flow will be nice um, and short, and we'll be remaining on our mats, kind of like stretching out or laying down the entire time. So go ahead and get comfortable on your mat and actually come onto your knees if that's accessible for you. And if it's not, you can also find a cross-legged position, Sukhasana. So in either hero pose or cross-legged position, we just wanna to start to lift up and take a breath in through the nose. Filling up the belly and chest with air. Pause at the top and exhale, release. Take another breath in. And on your exhale, soften the shoulders. One more breath in. Pause at the top and exhale, let it go. Good, bring your hands together and clasp your fingertips. We're gonna to start to extend our palms forward, so down and out, and then up to the sky. And drop those shoulders and connect with your breath here. Start to just take any movements that feel good for your shoulders, a nice stretch in the arms. And on your next breath, reach the arms up to the sky. Send your left arm down to the floor and right arm up and over for a nice side body stretch. Think about pressing those shoulders away from the ear and allowing your breath to flow nice and easy. Inhale, reach the arms back up and bend over towards that right side, right hand to ground, left arm reaches up and over. Energy reaching through those fingertips. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, placing the right hand down to the left knee and we twist up and back. Left hand finds the back of the mat looking towards the back. On your inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, drop the left hand to right knee, right hand to the back of the mat, and twist up and back. And on your next breath, breathing in, arms reach up, Cactus those elbows out to the side, opening through the chest here. Good, and exhale, place the hands down on the mat. Start to find your tabletop pose, Barmasana. Shoulders are underneath your, or hands are underneath your shoulders. Knees are underneath your hips. And on your inhale, we scoop the heart forward and extend through the back, dropping the belly down. Inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, contract, pushing away from the mat. Inhale, extending through that back, shoulders down. And exhale, chin to chest, contract. Inhale, reaching your heart forward, arching through the back like a cat. And exhale, chin to chest. Start to walk those hands in towards your knees and we come up, hips stack on top of your knees here. We're gonna place our hands on the lowest part of our back and start to go into a modified camel. So firm through the back of your legs and start to lift the chest and forehead up to the sky and cascade the upper back up and over just stretch out through that front of the body. 
If you feel comfortable with reaching the fingers for the heels, you can do so or stay in that modification, just holding onto the low back. And when you're ready, return the hands back to the low back and inhale to lift back up. Good, reaching those hands for the mat. We take another round of cat and cows, taking it nice and smooth. Inhale and exhale, contract. Inhale, extension and exhale, contract. Inhale, one more and exhale. Contract through that core, chin to chest. Go ahead, start to walk your fingertips forward and drop that chest down to the mat and placing your forehead onto the mat, find puppy pose. Take a few moments here to connect with your breath. Maybe drawing out the breath slower and longer reaching those fingertips longer as well, stretching through the shoulders. Option to place your chin on the mat as well. And start to walk the hands slightly up. We widen our knees and we shift our weight back into the heels to find our child pose, Balasana. And here, go ahead and grab your pillow and place the pillow underneath the belly and just sink the belly onto the pillow, maybe folding the hands on top of one another, placing your chin or forehead on them and relaxing through that low back, relaxing through that core and the neck and the face muscles. Maybe you flutter the eyes closed. And taking a breath in, exhale, send that breath to any part of the body that you're holding some tension. And let that tension melt away. Start to slowly come out of the child pose. Take that pillow off to the side. And go ahead and return back to tabletop, stacking the knees underneath the hips. And we walk our fingertips forward once more to find puppy pose. Maybe the chin finds the mat or the forehead. Relaxing through the belly, opening up through those shoulders taking deep belly breaths here. And begin to shift the weight into the arms, into the elbows and hands as we extend our legs out slightly wider than the hips and find Sphinx pose. So lift up here through the chest, pressing our forearms, elbows and palms into the mat and we start to breathe nice and easy. Think of those shoulder blades melting down our backs. Good, and when you're ready, start to just allow the belly to melt back down to the mat. Fold those hands on top of one another and maybe place your forehead on top of the hands for crocodile pose. And allow the body to feel super heavy, melting into the floor. Letting go of any muscle tension we're holding. Good, start to raise that head and come 
up to a tabletop pose. We're going to slide our right knee in line with your right wrist. Left toes reaching towards your left wrist. And we're gonna find our pigeon pose or a modification for deer pose. We can bring in the back leg, the left knee in line with the left hip to find deer pose, or we find pigeon pose. And go ahead and grab hold of that pillow, placing it in front of the right leg. And allow your elbows or your chest to soften on top of the pillow here. And just try to get as comfortable as possible in this stretch, in this hip opener either in deer or pigeon. And always thinking about trying to square off those shoulders towards the leg, if that's accessible. And maybe placing your chest on the pillow or your forehead onto the hands once more. And breathing into that hip stretch. Oftentimes we hold tension in the body and we don't take the time to stretch it out or work with the body. So appreciate that you are doing that today. Take another soft breath in and let it go. Start to come back up to a more seated position. Slide the pillow a little forward and shift the weight over towards the right as we shift our left leg forward and our right leg back. So our right leg can either be next to our hip or stretched out long behind our hip for pigeon. And finding our left leg in a right angle pose, we can slightly lean forward over that pillow. And start to breathe nice and easy. Pigeon and deer pose are very intense stretches for the hips at times. So make sure you're really breathing and connecting with your breath and sending the oxygen to those muscles to allow them to soften, allow them to have more ease. And on your next inhale, start to slowly come up out of the deer or pigeon pose and slide the pillow over to the side. Push your weight into your hands and reach the left knee back underneath ourselves. Next, we're gonna widen the knees in line with the hips. So slightly wider than the mat actually and start to slide the pillow underneath the belly. As we lower down onto the pillow, we find our frog pose. So once again, another hip opener, and this can also be pretty intense. So I always suggest, especially if you're at home, to find a pillow, placing it under the belly, and allowing it to be a nice relaxing stretch. We can also stack or make two double fists with the hands and stack them on top of one another and rest your forehead on top of the fists. And take a few deep breaths, slowing down each inhalation and exhalation.
And if you're ready, release the hands, start to place the hands by your side to push yourself back up, placing the weight into the knees and slide that pillow off to the side once more and coming over to one side and then finding your cross-legged Sukhasana easy pose. And here, go ahead and place your hands on the legs. We're gonna take a breath in and exhale, drop the left ear to left shoulder. And inhale, return the head back up to neutral and exhale up and over towards the right. Pressing that left shoulder down. And inhale back up to center. Sweeping those arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands through heart center. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're a little more calm. And feel free to come back to this video again whenever you need to restore um, calmness in a quick manner or if you maybe just finished a workout like a power vinyasa class or something it's really nice to finish a workout with so if you liked this video hit the like button and subscribe for new videos every Tuesday thanks so much have a beautiful day